not only are we investing money, millions of dollars into the school, but this has been an incredible year for the Manahan. This school community has come together and has done amazing things, working together and working hard to set a new course. And that's what can happen when we get make some difficult decisions. Students are filling this building with music and singing and dancing and learning culture. They're learning from an environment about diversity and the celebration of that. And they're, they're getting ready for the future. The Matterhorn building has been here since the early 70s. This program is important because in Boston there's a, a huge um, Haitian population, there's a Haitian diaspora here. And up until now we haven't had a program that specifically focuses on the language needs you know, of the students here uh, who are Haitian heritage. And so this program is, is, is amazing because it gives that bridge into second generation, third generation. Haitian, you know, students who are, are here, who want to learn a language and want to learn English, who also want a superior education, and, and that's what we're here for. And the dual language gives that bridge, that, that language and cultural bridge uh, to the curriculum. <laughs> So the initial impact, uh, I would say, was, I guess, a shock and awe. The initial impact, uh, part of the community really embraced the program. Uh, the program was, oh, we want that for the Haitian um, students, Haitian families, because it's dual language program in Spanish, so why can't we have one in, in Haitian Creole? So this is the district's response. But it came out of the community, you know, really organizing and pushing the district to have this. Uh, so it meets a need, it meets a language need, a cultural need, a heritage need uh, for families in, in, in Boston. And not just Mattapan, but in Boston. Um, I, I think there were a lot of community advocates and leaders who were uh, always trying to have a, a place that their children can feel comfortable speaking the Haitian Creole language without being alienated or ostracized. And this program allows them to do that. And, uh, and have access to curriculum because uh, the, the students sometimes struggle with trying to learn English at a rapid pace. But here they can learn the curriculum, the culture, um, high powered instruction in their native language. So it's interesting. Uh, we just uh, took a visit to Haiti, uh, a small team of us uh, and some community members as well to visit Haiti just to see how instruction, early um, elementary instruction is done in Haiti um, in Haitian Creole, um, just the resources that are used, the techniques, the best practices. So we spent a week there we, we tried to immerse ourselves in a, a several number of schools. Um, and the, the goal of the program is to really be a, a rich, cultural, vibrant program full of literacy in Haitian Creole full of literacy in English, but to give this program, give the students uh, who have Haitian heritage and those who want to learn Haitian Creole an opportunity to learn in a dual language setting um, that is um, rigorous, um, that prepares uh, students to gain access to the best middle schools, the best high schools, and the best colleges. So we, we, build, we feel that we're building the base uh, for that right here at, at the Matterhunt, uh, Tucson Libertura Dual Language Academy. My name is Joelle Gamir. I am the director of the Haitian Dual Language Program, which is the Toussaint Louverture Academy of Haitian Creole of the Sud Soleil. Well, the Dual Language Program is the Haitian Creole Dual Language Program, which is the first in the nation dual language program for early elementary. Our first year was the 2017-18 year and we had 25 students who were in K-1. 
the parents are very excited to have this program available in our school. Um, the parents have been looking for this program for years, and so having this program here kind of validates the Haitian culture for the Haitian community, and the other parents are just really excited to have their kids learning in another language. Basically, we're saying that your child can come to the Matta Hunt School and that they can learn in another language if you choose. They can learn in Haitian Creole and in English, and they can learn all of the subjects that are being offered to students, so your students really have a development of academic language in both Haitian Creole and in English. There are students who are from, obviously, from Haitian culture, or you said others, but then we have students that are African American, students who are Cape Verdean, students from Dominican Republic, but also students can come from anywhere. They're all accepted into the program. So next year is very exciting because we're gonna expand to third grade. And so we started with one lonely classroom of 25 students, which was K-1 in 2017-18, and we've expanded every year. We've added an additional grade and um, built up our teachers, and we already have our teacher identified right now, so we're really excited about that. And so next year we're gonna have third grade, so our students who are in second grade are moving up. And so looking to have another new crop of K-1 students. Um, but we're also looking to just really continue to solidify our curriculum. We need to become biliterate in two languages. So therefore the kids will be learning in English and in Creole, which will open up different avenues as they grow up into different fields of education or just having that ability to be able to translate and relay messages to other people, other countries, and different places. Number one, it, it, it's part of the community um, because, you know, the Mata Hunt is, has one of the largest Haitian populations. So this gives people who are of Haitian descent, of the Haitian community, an opportunity to kind of feel at home um, and to embrace their culture and their heritage. Therefore, we have students that are of Haitian descent who sometimes have lost touch with the Haitian culture and now they're, they're gaining back that culture back through their kids. And the kids are bringing it back to their grandparents and I have grandparents that say, oh my goodness, these kids, they know so much about the culture, which in time as, you know, as second generations, third generations come along, it can get lost as students assimilate into the American culture. And I feel like this gives the Haitian community an opportunity to really embrace their own culture and to pass it on to their children. And we found that the community has been a great part of this and that the kids are just bringing it back home and they can bring it on to their further generations and you know who doesn't want to feel inclusive in their own community I personally would like to see, you know, all the students be successful in being biliterate in English and in Creole. Um, as I stated before, this will help them in later avenues um, because the cognitive development of children who learn two languages are known to test better. Um, it also helps them with their economic stature. Um, you know, it gives you opportunities in different jobs and different fields. Um, Creole is actually very well. Um, well spoken throughout the Caribbean. We're not the only ones who speak Creole. They might have different dialects, but that opens up another door to go to other countries like Martinique, Guadeloupe, St. Lucia, who do speak Creole too. And it also gives these students an opportunity to go other places. They can work in other countries because some people might want someone who speaks English there. So it's just different avenues for, for students all over. It's been a very enlightening experience. Um, as you know, the program serves about 25 students. Um, some are native Haitian students and some are native English speakers. Um, therefore, it's interesting seeing the, develop the cognitive development that the students are going through through the whole program. 
Um, so therefore, I'm seeing kids think in both languages. Like they would state, you can see them, and you see the process going through their face where they'll say, oh, I know how to say this in English. And then they think about it and they're like, oh no, I know how to say this. And their confidence has just been built so high. The kids are comfortable, the families are comfortable. So it's kind of like a, another home away from home. So as the students are at school, they, you'll see them play together. You'll see them play with the friends that don't even speak Creole because there's a level of comfort that the students feel. And they know that they're learning two languages. I, you know, I always tell them, you're the smartest kids in the school. You're learning how to say it in two ways. And that has helped them build such a confidence where they can say, yes, I know it's this in Creole and I know this in English. And it's been very interesting to see the kids code switch between languages because they do know the differences. If I say, say this in Creole, they will say it in Creole. If I say, say this in English, they will say it in English. So the kids can definitely use those different parts of their brains to develop more concepts. And they're learning concepts right now in kindergarten that probably wouldn't come until first grade because they're learning the Haitian alphabet, which is a little bit more complex. So the kids are just being thrown so much stuff at them. And I just think that it's, it's been great seeing their development. I want to see like, you know, the next year what, you know, what brings for them and just see like how successful that they will be. Because I do feel like this program is benefiting the students more ways than one. Ils sont fiertés. En tant qu'Haïtien, ils ont langue négligée depuis des années, et ni même tout Haïtien parlé. Et bien, nous faisons partie de l'organisation qui a travaillé dans la communauté. Et je pense que les notes chita et sous table pour nous et te joindre et qui ça qui t'a pris bon pour la communauté avec parents Haïtiens. Et nous te trouvons nécessaire. Et créole là, c'est les mêmes qui pis bon pour communication qu'a fait plus bien. Et d'où l'engouement du programme ça, Boston Public School mettait un. C'est un d'où l'engouement du programme qui pas fait pour Haïtiens seulement. Ça veut dire et, et 70% et et euh, si mon Haïtien que il apprend, si mon ça il bénéficie pour il capable apprendre en deux langues, il a pas apprendre plus bien parce que toute d'où l'engouement qui gagne en Boston, il ouais le apprendre si mon en deux langues, si mon ça plus bien apprendre. The importance for me for this program was because I am Haitian American and I wanted my son to have the ability to learn the language in a way that sometimes I don't always get to speak with, with him because of the fact his dad is American so we don't speak a lot of Creole in the house but I wanted him to get to know the language and I thought the program would be an excellent way for him to at least kind of realize where his roots came from and to kind of expand his horizons to having the ability to speak two languages. Experience for him. So when he came into preschool, he didn't really know any letters. I didn't do any pre-work at home. So he didn't know any of his letters. He barely could count. And now like he's he's counting efficiently and he's um, he knows all of his letters and his letter sounds. And actually, we are actually learning to read words at home. So he's able to read words and sound out words at home now. Le programme est important, moi j'ai deux ans ici. Ok, le moins inscrit si petit moi à l'école là. Mais avant, il était fait un an dans la là. Il n'a pas parlé ni anglais et puis il était un petit genre. Parce qu'il était pas l'état, il n'a pas parlé très bien. Mais pendant le vin là, pendant le vin là, il parlait tous les deux langues. Et moi vraiment satisfait. Des fois, il a parlé anglais là, il a dit mon bagage, il a compris, il a dit chérie, il a répondu moi, il a moi la créole. What I can tell you really about the program is that it's a great program for the community and I always hope that the community back it up and so we can have something very fruitful in the community. The result is huge. Um, they test score, they, um, as we know, we have, we're dealing with kindergarten, K1 and now going on K2. And the kids that f coming from K1 and the dual language program, looking at them, they very advanced. Been a while since the idea was going on. And luckily we did have a um, superintendent that did listen to the, to the community and follow through and follow up and with a great team that was at BPS and the program came within 
less than two years? Uh, first and foremost, let me thank the Boston Public School Administration for making it possible to have a dual language program, the Haitian dual language program uh, within Boston Public School system. This is the most uh, innovative uh, program uh, bringing, blending together culture, the Haitian culture and the Haitian heritage by teaching uh, Haitian uh, kids and also as well as uh, other ethnic uh, students, even uh, Native Americans to be able to learn the Haitian language at the early age, meaning the Haitian Creole language at the early age. Uh, we all are grateful uh, and also proud with uh, the result, uh, the positive results we have uh, from this program. As you know, this program started from uh, K1 and then every year they, they, uh, they, uh, they added they added a new uh, grade starting from K1 to K2, then going through uh, first grade. And we have a commitment from uh, uh, the administration that this program will go along until to sixth grade. So uh, hope is for the program to be open district-wide and also be able to, for the program to continue on all the way to high school.